Hi, how are you? Today I bring you something a little bit different. Today it's about DaVinci Resolve more or less. I recently bought DaVinci Resolve Studio and now I can edit with all the full features of DaVinci Resolve. And a friend of mine asked me if I could make a small video and edit it and then give it to him. And the most important thing was that it has to be in ProRes format because another friend of him that makes special effects and something like that can do um, another part of the, uh, the work, but it needs to be in ProRes format. And when I went to export the project, I found out that DaVinci Resolve Windows version doesn't export to ProRes. So I started looking around what to do, how can I do it, and I found a solution. This solution only works for DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you have the free version, it doesn't work. But the most important thing that it's free. Of course, you can support the project on their website. That there is a place where you can add uh, some money or can become a Patreon, something like that. But let's see how you can do it because it's very easy to do and it brings you a lot of options. Let's start out. The first thing you have to do is go to the web page uh, where you can download the software and the web page is uh, vocoder.com. I will leave down below in the description uh, the link for um, the, the web page. So we open the vocoder.com and go to downloads and you have to download two files. First one is this one, the vocoder uh, 12.1 and the other one is DaVinci Resolve Studio. Uh, this only works uh, from 70 forward and it's the version 0 0.10.0 uh, and you will download both, both files. After you download, go to the place where you download the file. So uh, in my case, it's here, here. You run the, the vocoder app this is the one that vocoder at this moment is a 12.1 MSI. You run it and install it normally. Then open the, the zip file. You will extract it. Extract all and it in when you extract you will see that you have a readme, ext file and a folder. You open the readme and you have all the, in, uh, the installation help here and how to install it but in my case uh, I had a problem because it says here that you should copy the, the folder to a place and in my case that place didn't exist so what I uh, tell you to do is copy from the C until it says support like here Copy this, you go to paste that and then you, you look, if you see this, this folder IO plugins, you open and paste that uh, folder in here. If you don't see it, you create it and then paste inside this. After you do this, it's, it's done, you don't have to do anything more. So let's close everything. You can open DaVinci Resolve. Uh, let's open a project. This one is empty, so let's add a, a file in here. So let's come in here, for example, and a small file like this one and add it. Let's don't change. Go to edit, put that file in the timeline. Now go to, let's go to the deliver page. Now in the deliver page, you have, when you come here in the video export video options, in the bottom, you have this option that is the vocoder. You select it and you, you go scroll a little bit down and you can see here vocoder configure vocoder you click it it opens now 
you have uh, video options, audio options, output, settings and about you in the video options you can see here in encoder codec and now you have all these encoders all these uh, codecs that you can use I choose ProRes I go to options I can see the color format I say that it's this profile audio you can choose also all these codecs and you have also the options the bit rate and the profile and the output you can uh, choose the container in my case I'm gonna choose uh, QuickTime MOV click OK give it a name to the file that you wanna test and add to render and render all and let's wait and let's see so the um, original file is a H.264 file in 4k now let's see the result if it's ProRes or not it's done let's see let's go to the media and let's go where the folder I'm gonna add it here so as I said the original file is an H.264 and the result now as you can see it's an Apple ProRes 444 so it's easy and the most important is free of course you should help the developer because uh, it has done a great uh, job now it's easy to export to 422 so this is everything I have to tell you about this app that is useful very useful for me uh, for now and if you like this information please hit that like button that helps a lot and if you are not subscribed subscribe and hit that notification bell and I hope to see you in my next video so bye